Yo, what is up, guys? We're back with part two. What if Naruto had the power of imagination? And without further ado, let's get straight into the what if. Now we're back with this what if at the um, when Kakashi is basically talking to them in the first floor of the academy, and after he tells them that uh, he they you know they're boring, uh, they tell no not the, he tells them to meet um, him upstairs and the roof. Now Sasuke and Sakura would run towards the stairs when Kakashi no with body flicker, and uh, and they would see Naruto behind them. Now Naruto would imagine that he had the flying not the flying raijin but something similar to a technique like that so like uh you then use the hiranko or the hira I, I can't even pronounce the technique but it's like the flash tab of frequencies um but basically you would use a similar technique to that before uh tell moving so fast he looks like he's teleporting all the way to the roof now he teleports to like uh, one of the stairs before sitting down there now Sasuke and Sakura would come up and wonder how Naruto got ahead of him since they know they were ahead of him. But uh, you know, Sasuke wouldn't or Nar Sasuke or Sakura would be interrupted by Kakashi telling him to sit down. Now Sasuke and Sakura would sit down and Kakashi would say, um, introduce yourself. Sakura would say, Can you give us an example? Um Kakashi would then say, My name's Kakashi Hatake. My likes don't really have any my dislikes, none of your concern, and my goal is, uh, I don't really have one. Now, after this, um, everyone would sword drop telling, you know, thinking to themselves that he only told his name. But then, uh, Kagashi said, well, there's your example, get started. Now, Sakura would pretty much say, I'm Sakura Arno, my likes, uh, my dislikes, uh, basically doing what she did again. I don't want to, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to repeat, not myself, but repeat what she said. Cringy. Okay, don't worry. We will turn useless Sakura into someone useful. Or like part one, so, I mean part two and part part two and Boruto are pretty, you know, actually useful. But part one, we got to work on that one. Now, in this timeline, you know, when Sakura would introduce herself, remember part one, Naruto literally erased uh, that he... Um, yeah, erase the feeling of fangirl over fangirling over Sasuke, whatever the verb is for fangirl. Now, so basically, when Sakura was asked her goal, she would say something along the lines of being a famous, wanting to be a good, you know, a strong Konoichi. Now, after this, uh, Kakashi wouldn't actually cringe at the goal, and Sasuke would basically go on about his emo shit of wanting to kill the clan. Now, Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi would be like. Yo, this motherfucker weird. But, uh, you know, they would say that to themselves. They wouldn't say that out loud. And now, after this, after their short meeting, Kakashi would tell them that, um, they should meet him tomorrow, meet him tomorrow at training ground 7 at around 6 a.m. And he would basically just, uh, poof into a shadow clone. Now, after this, Naruto would pretty much head home while Sakura and Sasuke would do the same thing. Naruto would pretty much train the rest of the day from, like, four o'clock to around 10 p.m training his abilities reading books anything he can use since his power is in imagination so yes thank you you know increases intelligence quote whatever iq stands for uh to basically yes to raise that to basically have more uh you know he's not limited with his imagination so he has to be smart to be able to think of something for his imagination now, Naruto pretty much trained the next the rest of the day, and around 9 p.m., he would head towards the uh, ramen shop. He would then pretty much walk in, and he'd eat some ramen. You know, after all these years, you know, ramen it still hits the same. Now, after this, he would then say bye to Tucci and Ayame before heading out the store. He would walk towards his house before uh, unlocking the door with a key and locking the door. He would then drink some water before going to sleep. Naruto would wake up the next day, and he would put on his drip. Well, the drip, the stern runner drip. If you guys, you know, read the Bleach manga, I think it's uh, volume number 64. Then you, you, you would know what I'm talking about. Or chapter 575. Now, after this, Naruto would put on the drip, and he would basically add out. 
uh, he would walk towards uh, the ramen shop yet again since he knows that Kakashi is bluffing. So he wanted to at least um, be there a little late. He doesn't want to wait there for three hours for Kakashi. He would then get some ramen before heading towards the library. He would then walk in the library before getting some books and sitting down and starting to read. Now, after around two hours, he put away his book, put away the books before, um, you know, walking outside the library before, you know, saying bye, uh, bye to the librarian who, um, let's just say the librarian was a nice librarian. It wasn't like the usual um, people, usual individual that really hated Naruto. Now, after Naruto would walk out the library, he would head towards the training field. His chakra is refilled and his intelligency or imagination it is is at its peak since in the morning you can really think more rather than at night now naruto would pretty much walk towards the training ground before um like you know being there he would then wait for like maybe 30 minutes after and he would wait for 30 minutes and pretty much um you know give some bentos to um to sasuke and sakura since he knows they're gonna be hungry and um, yeah, after this, they would be they would refill themselves and they'd be full. Up, they would be at their they would be at their highest when it comes to be you know having chakra. Now Kakashi would basically walk into the view, and he'd say, "You guys ready?" After this, uh, they would nod their heads before Kakashi would pretty much explain to them about the rules of the bell test and what's gonna happen. He says, "You guys have all day to get these two bells from my waist." Now, if you guys don't get these bells, you are all going to the academy. And if two of you get these bells and one of you doesn't, then one of you are going back to the academy. Now, basically, everyone, you know, only Sakura would be actually scared of this. Naruto would be fine since he has the power of imagination. And Sasuke would be fine since he's arrogant. Now, Kakashi would then say start and Naruto and Sasuke would charge right at Kakashi. Naruto would uh, imagine that Sasuke had the power to kick uh, Kakashi back. Now, uh, Sasuke would use any lines of Barrage, and Kakashi not really, you know, paying attention to Sasuke. Or not, he would finally, you know, when he'd see Sasuke, he'd put away his book. But that's what I mean. Now, Sasuke would go for a lines Barrage kick, and Kakashi would just put up his arm like usual. But this time, Kakashi's arm would just shatter. And he was confused. How was Sasuke's kick strong enough to shatter his arm? Now only Naruto would know what this was because he imagines uh, he imagines Sasuke's leg was strong enough to break Kakashi's arm. Now Kakashi's left arm was immobile, and he had to use his right arm. Now since uh, he would pretty pretty much give uh, Sasuke the power to use Taijutsu like pretty well, like with that same strength he used with the kick, and this would go over pretty well. Naruto would pretty much make a hole like portal not a portal but like a a cube kind of like um grimy did in the manga he says just for you kakashi hatsuke i'll um i won't even use my fingers but i'll you know you are kakashi hatsuke for a reason he would then pretty much uh summon water and he'd pretty much summon like a like when kakashi would run towards naruto to you know fight him he would then be in water underwater he would be confused because he doesn't remember stepping in the water. Naruto would say, how does it feel knowing that your next step, you know, that you thought was air, was only water the whole time? Incomprehensible, right? After this, he then pretty much dig a whole cave open, and he then pretty much drowned Kakashi in it. Now, how Kakashi is going to survive is Kakashi would use Kamui and basically Kamui himself out of that area. Now, Kakashi would then come out the Kamoi dimension, basically uh, taking deep breaths from his little uh, breathing contest in the water. Now, after this, uh, Kakashi would then poof into log. Now, Naruto would pretty much say, it. <laughs> damn it, I guess uh, Kakashi is good with those. But uh, he'll be pretty weak in Sasuke, so we might as well get Sakura and we can finish this team exercise. After this, uh, Sasuke would say, what are you talking about, team exercise? Uh, Naruto would say, this is a teamwork assessment. I mean, that's the point of it. Why do you think he had two bells and three of us? You know, that's, you know, there's never been a team with only two members, like two getting and one Joni. Now, after this, Sasuke would pretty much think about this and realize uh, uh, the flaws in Kakashi's way of showing them that they shouldn't really work together. 
and realized that Kakashi actually wanted them to work together. Now Sasuke realizes to say, you know, let's go. Since he has to pass and, and to be a ninja, he has to be a ninja to get stronger so then he can kill Itachi. So he, he's going to have to concede and work with Naruto this time. After this, they'd find Sakura, and uh, Sakura would obviously join since she's not a fangirl, and Naruto imagined that she was never, like, a banshee. Now, after this, Naruto would pretty much, uh, Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura would converge converge on Kakashi's location. Now, they'd pretty much ambush uh, Kakashi with Sakura going in first, and Naruto imagining that she had the power of her adult form, no matter what the power was. So, like, basically, uh, Sakura would get the power of her canon uh, timeline for just, like, a minute or two. Now, Sakura, not knowing Sakura being told about Naruto's power, like, just a minute before, would not be too surprised about this. And then start to charge Kakashi and start to get to, into, a, like, a taijutsu fight with him. And now, after this, Kakashi would be surprised at Sakura's sudden strength. And then Sasuke would come in with a fire style majestic destroyer flame. And um, he'd pretty much try to burn Kakashi. Now, Kakashi would use an Earth-style mud wall after using a water-style water dragon jutsu to lessen the flames, then using a mud wall to completely defend himself. Now, after this, it wouldn't just be a normal mud wall. It would be like the four mud walls he made against pain. Uh, the Tendo pain, I mean. Now, after this, Naruto would pretty much go underground and basically use like a Kakashi's headhunter jutsu against him. He would then come out the ground and uppercut Kakashi, sending him flying into the wall. Uh, you know, causing Kakashi's head to bob back and forth. Uh, Naruto would pretty much grab Kakashi by the face before slamming him against the wall, knocking him out for the count. Naruto would bend over and pretty much um, pick up the bells before throwing them to Sakura and Sasuke. After this, uh, they would then tie Kakashi to a log before pretty much uh, taunting him. And Naruto would say, I am the strongest, something along the lines of that. He wouldn't say I'm the strongest Quincy, but he would say I'm the strongest ninja in the world. Now, after this, Kakashi would say that they would pass, and tomorrow, they, after, you know, after he gets released from tree, or the log, he'd say that tomorrow they're starting their missions, and he wants them to meet uh, him at 8 a.m. tomorrow uh, around this area. And this would pretty much be the end of the bell test and the end of this section. We start the new section with Naruto heading home from the bell test. Naruto would then walk through the forest like he usually would, and um, he'd hear some uh, thrashing around. He then turned around to see another than an orange hair, orange hair, red hair girl. Now this girl would be Karin Izumaki. Now in this timeline, or not this timeline, uh, Karin pretty much introduced herself, even though she's literally in rags though, and pretty much um, Naruto would you know uh, imagine that he'd uh, have clothes out of nowhere. Then afterwards, um, he would literally just hand it to her and looking, uh, uh, he would then like pretty much look away, you know. Uh, after this, um, Karin pretty much would put on the clothes, which were happened to be uh, from the Uzumaki clan. Yeah, very, co uh, co very coincidental. Now, uh, after this, um, Karin pretty much introduced herself, saying, I'm Karin Uzumaki. And Naruto would say, you know, why are we even running here? After this, uh, Karin pretty much said that uh, she was pretty much uh, with Orochimaru, you know, one of the Sani, the one that went rogue. And uh, she kind of just dipped, so, or ran away, if you guys know the slang. Now, after this, um, Naruto would pretty much say, oh, uh, do you want to join the Leaf Village? After this, she'd be like, all right, I'm done. After this, um, who was going to be like, oh, another Uzumaki. That's great. And then afterwards, Karin would get her own, like, house or something. Not even a house, but, like, a um, smaller apartment, I guess. I don't know. And that'd be the end of that. Now, uh, Naruto would pretty much head home. He'd be like, oh. He would pretty much, like, jump on his couch. And he'd be like, that was a long day. I need to take a nap. Now, afterwards, he'd pretty much go to sleep for the night. <laughs> Not a nap. It's like, bro, bro was sleeping for a long time. Now, after this, Naruto would wake up the next day and get ready, putting on his headband, which was really a nuisance since, it's nuisance since it didn't even go well with his outfit. After this, Naruto would then walk out of his house before 
heading towards the training ground. Uh, Naruto would then see Kakashi, uh, Sasuke, and Sakura, and he'd say, sorry guys, I'm late, but we are doing missions, right? After this, uh, Kakashi, would pray, Kakashi would say, yeah, we, we are, come on. After this, they'd start their one month of just doing D-rank missions. Uh, basically, uh, basically kidnap not kidnapping him by bed, capturing the same cat over and over since the whole the whole Kage's wife's cat, Tora, Tora, I think that's the name. Or they would either be doing chores for people, and they would not go well for Naruto since the villagers did not like Naruto. So you know, if you're doing chores for the people that hate you, it's not gonna go well. Now, after where it's after the one month of grueling, boring D rank missions, you know, at least they trained over the month. Naruto would then sli- slowly, slowly give them power with his imagination, so they can at least adapt to it. He doesn't want to just give them power all at once. You know, yes, they have to earn it. So in this timeline, Sasuke would have the two Tomoe in the double eyes, with two Tomoe in both eyes, and Sakura would pretty much have her Shippuden power. Not the healing factor, but like the Taijutsu and the Chakra infused fist. Don't worry, she'll get her healing soon. Maybe after the Land of the Waves, before the Chunin exams. Now, Kakashi, I don't know if Kakashi will get strong, but uh, maybe he could use the Kamoi more, something like that. I don't know. Now, after the one month of doing the boring D ranked missions, um, Team 7 would pretty much head towards Hok- the Hokage's Tower, trying to demand for a higher rank mission. Naruto would say, uh, Hokage sama. Uh, you know, the D rank missions have become quite tedious. Don't you think that we should deserve a higher rank mission? After this, um, Naruto would add on, saying, You know, you should think logically about this. After this, uh, Ruka would say, You know, you're too young for that. After this, Naruto would say, Was I talking to you though? And then, uh, yeah, after this, Ruka would pretty much just be quiet. And he was in the say, but He was in the say, All right, fine. After moments of thinking, he would give them a C rank mission. And he'd say, Tazana, you can come in now. After that, say, a, a uh, old man who was pretty much drunk out of his mind would walk in saying, You guys look weak, and you with the white coats, you're short and weak. Or did you just not get enough, did you not get enough nutrients when you were a kid? After this, Naruto would pretty much put on the grammy, bloodlusted face and say, Can you say that again? I, I couldn't hear you. After this, he would put Ryatsu into his voice for you know, pretty much using it as killer intent to scare um, Tazuna. After this, Tazuna would pretty much become so sober that he's a Christian schoolboy. Now, that is such a bad metaphor, but I couldn't think of anything else. Now, he would then quickly, uh, you know, say, no, never mind, that was that was my bad, you know, the alcohol. After this, uh, Naruto would then turn back around or, you know, might go back to his business and who's going to explain the mission details and hand them the scroll just in case they need to reevaluate what the mission was in general now after this kakashi would then tell the team that they should uh get ready uh they said meet him by the village gates in one hour don't be late uh after this um, naruto would head towards his house before putting on the drip and pretty much heading out uh, and, you know, putting any supplies he needed, something along the lines of that, like books. Uh, when he would be heading, you know, he'd see Karin and say, you know, hey, yo, I'm heading out on a mission, so, uh, peace out. <laughs> something along the lines of that, but he didn't really say that. After this, uh, Team 7 would pretty much head out the village, and they'd be on, they'd be walking, and kind of just be, it would be a silence, uh, walk. After this, Tazuna would pretty much, uh, they'd be talking to Tazuna or something along the along the lines about the mission details something like that now after this uh they would walk by a puddle and uh kakashi would realize this naruto would realize this and sasuke would realize this sakura would like feel something but like she wouldn't know where it's coming from after this the demon brothers would come out and and quote-unquote kill kakashi before naruto would just pretty much um end their lives really quick by just um slitting their throats with a kunai it wouldn't really be that hard for Naruto to do that. He'd be like, you better run them hands, boy. Yeah, it just didn't take long for Naruto to fold um, the demon brothers. Naruto would imagine that he can actually invade their mind to get the information, and he would get the information, realizing that, you know, this mission was an A-rank mission. 
Now, after this, Kakashi would say, uh, question Kazuna, and Kazuna would spill about everything about God's Hill and about the village, uh, the length of the waves. Now, after this, they'd realize that, you know, Team 7 would have an, uh, a decision that they're still going to go on this mission. After this, they'd head towards the um, land of the waves before the Naruto would throw a kunai and he would barely miss a snow bunny. Now, Sakura would say, uh, Sakura would say, um, why did you throw a kunai at the, the bunny? It was just a bunny. After this, uh, Naruto would say, what season is it? She would then say, it's summer. And then uh, Naruto would say, why is this? Why is the bunny white then? After this, uh, Kokashi would realize what Naruto was saying. He'd say, duck, uh, in like a louder voice, you know. I just can't do that. <laughs> uh, but nah, I can't. He would then say, duck. And pretty much a sword would come flying through. And Team 7 would dodge. Uh, when the blade would land on the tree, and Zabuza would be standing over or over or on it, um, he would then say, "Kakashi of the Shrine Gun, <laughs> uh, I will kill you." Something along the lines of that. Now, this is where I'll be leaving off part two of what if Naruto had the power of imagination. Now, I know I'm kind of like leaving you. I mean, I'm not leaving you on the cliffhanger, but something like that. And uh, yeah, I'll be working on the what if Naruto was Toshiro's reincarnation right about now now other than that guys peace